So, hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about another lesson about the Arabic pronunciation, another family of uh, letters that we're going to see how to pronounce. Uh, last time we talked about the ha, 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 ra group, the group over here. Today we're going to talk about the a and a sounds of the Arabic language. So, a uh, and a. Uh. So, how do we pronounce this? Okay, first, the Hamza, or Alif, usually Hamza, is pronounced in three ways, depending on Alamat Tashkil. So, if I have Fatha, it will be a. Uh, a. Uh. And notice that there's a difference between the A in English and the a uh, that we pronounce and pr produce uh, in Arabic. And that is, we have kind of a sudden stop and then you re release that sound. So it's ah. It's not ah. No, it's ah. Okay? And this is very apparent if you are reading um, a word that ends with Hamza. For example, ba. Ba. We don't say ba. You see, there's a alif here which is pronounced as. An A. So if I write this in English, it would be ba. And in Arabic, actually, we have, if we write this in English, we add a, an apostrophe. Here, because we're saying that there is a stop, and then you go and pronounce a. So it's ba. Same for, for example, if I pronounce ta. Okay? So this is one thing to notice. The other thing is that, okay, we said the three sounds. It's either a or u or e so a u or e sound okay so this is how you pronounce the hamza uh, of course if it's an alif and it has a hamza on it it's pronounced as a or u or e sorry yeah if the hamza is downstairs and the other thing if you remember from the lesson of writing that uh, the Hamza can be sitting either on an Alif, on a Wow, or on a Ya, like this, or like this. Just remember when you pronounce it, look first at Alam Tashkil. Is it like this? Is it like this? Is it like that? And then pronounce. So it's either A, U, I. Now if there is a Sukun, it's A. Okay? So we go Ba, Ba, Although there's a sukun, okay? If there's a fatha, so it's. If I add fatha, it will be. Ba a. Dhamma. Ba u. Kasra would be ba i. So if it's sukun, it's ba a. Ba a. Okay? We stop and then we release. Ba a. Okay. So the next letter is. Ain and it's pronounced ah ah. Now I cannot really uh, approximate this to any um, English sound. If I ever write uh, an Arabic letter in Roman letters, um, and for example, I either use the a u o or e or i. So, because actually, uh, ah, it has no equivalent. It's actually like the ah, but it's stronger. It's from the throat. Your muscles from the top of your throat squeeze a bit to produce ah, ah. Okay, let me now compare between these two sounds. Maybe you can see the difference. This is pronounced as ah, ah. This one is pronounced as ah, ah. So I squeeze, I go ah, ah. It's like, kind of like a zombie kind of a sound. Ah, and then you release ah, ah. This is if I have fatha, ah. If I have dhamma, okay, it will be ah, ah. So that's kind of like a, sorry, a dark sound. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. And then there is um, the last one is a i, a i, okay, a i. 
Um, now, how do you pronounce it if there's a sukun? We say ah, ah. Okay, it's kind of like the fatha, but you stop, you don't go ah, you get ah. So, like for example, this word. This word is ba ah. Okay, ba. If I stop with a sukun, ba ba. Okay. Now, notice one thing that is very interesting here. You see the way we write the Hamza and the, ra the way we write the Ain? It's very similar. If you extend actually the Hamza like this, and you have Ain, that's because they they are exactly almost the same pronunciation, except there is this kind of a squeeze in your throat. Now, uh, let's continue the lesson. Okay, so now, again, how you pronounce each of these with alamat at tashkil and I paired the as you can see here the letters with another letter that will help it show uh, the pronunciation okay so I'm going to read them like this the first one is al a al a al next one is a al a al so al al I hope you can hear the difference. Another one is Ud 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 Okay. So this is Ud, this is Ud Ud U U Ud here. E E In Okay. This is A I I the whole thing is A N In An Okay, moving on. Now, um, putting these letters um, into words. So, uh, here you can see the Hamza is in different places in a word. And I'm going to pronounce it. So, the first uh, word, of course, I'm reading from top to bottom, right to left. So, first word is Asfar. Asfar, as a a asfar, sa. Oops, here's a mistake. It's sa il. There is a kisser. Sa il. Okay. E e sa il. Okay. The last one is ma ma. Okay, ma. And you stop with a sukun. If you add, for example, tanween like this, I would say ma un. ما أن or ما okay the meanings أصفر means yellow سائل means liquid ما means water this is a very important word ما means water okay and uh, see it's a, it's not as easy to pronounce it's not ما it's ما okay okay let's start here it's Sorry, Ulba, uh, Ulba, Mil Aka. Did I say I'm reading from top to? Oh, sorry, I'm reading like this. Okay, Ulba, uh, Ulba, Mil Aka, Mil Aka, Mil Aka, Ulba, Mil Aka, and then Na Na Na. Nah. Okay. This is you stop here and you stop there. Nah. Nah. Okay. So ulba milaqa. Nah. 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 Okay. The meaning. Ulba means a box. Milaqa is a spoon. And nah nah is mint. Nah nah. Okay. If you can really pronounce this. Then y you're good, okay? Because this is very hard letter to pronounce. Ain, ah, ah. There's no equivalent in the English um, language, uh, unfortunately. So it's very hard to describe. It's ah, and this is ah. Okay, so this is all um, for this lesson. Uh, not much time left. All I want to say is if you have any question, please post it. If you want to give it a try with a video response, go ahead. Uh, that's all for today and see you next time.